Pokemon 151 is here. That's right. All 151 of the greatest Pokemon ever made, straight out of 1999. They got their own set. Pokemon 151. And now I'm going to be showing off that set in English during this uh, booster pack opening video. We've got one Elite Trainer Box. One booster bundle. The first time they've ever done a uh, booster bundle for a special set. It's the closest thing to a special set booster box you can get. It's just got six booster packs in it. It's kind of like a build and battle kit minus the building and the battling, just, uh, just the kit. One poster collection featuring, uh, you know, the three greatest starters ever. And one binder box, which is a box that comes with a binder and a bunch of booster packs. If you'd like to order products from Pokemon 151, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com where we've got all of the products available now. Let's get into this. Gonna be sleeving my hits in Dragon Shield Perfect Fit Sleeves. Huge thank you to Dragon Shield for providing the sleeves for this opening experience. Let's start with the starters, where it all started. Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Let me know, either in the Twitch chat or in the YouTube comments, who you picking? And why is it Squirtle? This box set comes with a poster. Very cool Pokemon TCG silhouette poster. Wow. Look at that. We got all of the original 151 Pokemon silhouetted. That is a nice poster. I'm going to keep that in my poster pile where I keep all of my posters in a pile. You want to know where my poster pile is? It's underneath the skate ramp. I keep it underneath, underneath the mini ramp. So that's cool. Super nostalgic. Definitely digging that. And then we've got our blister promos. Three booster packs. But first, in Pokedex order, let's check these out. Bulbasaur with the Galaxy Hollow and Hollow Border. Definitely digging that. I think that this looks really pretty. Charmander. It's kind of got like a burning forest in the background, which looks super nice. And Squirtle. Yeah, those all look really crisp. Definitely uh, loving what we got going on there. All right. This is the very first booster pack of Pokemon 151 that I have ever opened in English. Nidoran. Ghastly. Paris. Voltorb, Magneton, these cards look really nice. Nitto Queen, Victor Bell, Magnemite, and this is uh, the reverse holo pattern that we were getting for Pokemon 151. It is the same reverse holo pattern that uh, we get in the rest of the Scarlet and Violet block. No Pokeball reverse holo, no Mirror reverse holo, no Master Ball reverse holo. We just got the traditional Scarlet and Violet reverse holo pattern. But we do get two of them. And Flareon, our first holo of the opening. Beautiful artwork. Love that. The silver border hollows just look so slick on these cards, too. Have to say, that card looks great. Good stuff. Ponyta, Poliwag, Pikachu, there's Farfetch'd, Hitmonchan, I remember, remember the fake gym, you can get Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee, Seeking, Butterfree, Primeape, Hitmonlee, we got Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan in this booster pack. And then our first EX, Nine Tails EX. Super cool looking card. 260 HP, and it's got the 
Mirrored Flames Attack for a fire and a colorless if you have the same amount of cards in your hand as your opponent. It does 220 damage for just two energy. Nice little stage one Pokemon card. Yo, what? All right, now this is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. But the last one wasn't hollow. Yo, what? <laughs> All right, so now I have to like, okay, this is something that we got that they didn't get. We got hollow energies in Pokemon 151. That is is really cool. I mean, and those look great. The hollow pattern looks fantastic. Wow. Yeah, I mean, great job. This is cool. You know, we don't get the same stuff that they get in Japan, but this is a nice, cool little thing that they did. Like, give us something fun, right? Like, that's cool. I like that. Amazing. I had no idea. That's a huge surprise for me. I wonder how often those get pulled out of booster packs. Porygon. Oh, I guess I should put nine tails in a sleeve and then, you know, put it with my hits. But me, nine tails. Eh. Energy, though. Energy. <laughs> Electabuzz. Coughing. To be fair, the energy is a cooler hit than the nine tails. Tangela. New cycling road stadium. Scyther. Lapras. Executor. Ooh, our first art rare, Mr. Mime. Card looks great. These cards look so good with the silver borders. Dig that. It's got the ability Mimic Barrier. If this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached to them, you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. And then Psy Power places three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Very cool. And a full art... Venusaur EX, yo, our first full art. This little poster collection was kind of cracked, honestly. We got a hollow energy, we got two EX and an art rare. Dude, this Venusaur is looking good too, honestly. As far as Venusaur cards go, this is a good looking Venusaur. Sometimes they make Venusaur look kind of derpy, but this Venusaur is, is looking real slick. I like that. It's got the Tranquil Flower ability. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon's in the active spot, heal 60 from one of your Pokemon, 340 HP, and the Dangerous Tox Whip. 150 damage, your opponent's now confused and poisoned. Typical Venusaur fare there. And we got another Hollow Energy, this time Psychic. Yo, this is insane. Look at that. Two for three on the Hollow Energy. The poster collection did not disappoint at all. Yo, we got the triple swirl. We got three swirls. We got one, two, and three. Triple swirl energy, extremely rare. Triple swirly right there. Dope. All right, the poster collection was awesome. Got some great pulls out of there, and I'm just so excited about the, uh, so excited about the holographic energy. That is such a neat surprise. Love it. Up next, we are cracking the binder collection. Comes with a nice binder that's got the uh, silhouette print on it, as well as four booster packs. First up, let's take a look at the binder. It's got an elastic strap. Mew on the front with the 151 logo and the silhouette pattern all over. Looks really slick, honestly. And then uh, typical nine pocket pages stitched with uh, black background. Yeah, looks nice. Solid looking binder. And then we got four booster packs as well. Star you Charmander, Spiro, Rhyhorn, Ivysaur, Slowbro, Machoke, Nidoqueen, Queen Reverse Hollow, Venonat Reverse Hollow, and Aerodactyl 
as our Hollow Rare, 130 HP and free retreat. It's got the Devolution Ray attack, which does 100 damage for two colorless energy, and you get to devolve the defending Pokemon, which means that Aerodactical, Aerodactical, Aerodactylizing, Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl can technically one hit KO any stage two Pokemon, right? Because I'm pretty sure all basics in stage ones that evolve into stage twos have under 100 HP. So it's kind of neat. And then the basic hollow lightning energy. Wow. I mean, I'm three for four on the hollow energy now. So I'm thinking that these might be pretty common pulls, but I mean, lightning type is my favorite type of energy. So I am thrilled that we pulled that. Yeah, these, these are insane. Three out of four booster packs with the energy. Venonats, Pidge, Metapod, Ponyta, Epic Pokemon. Honestly, see, people hate on the original 151 Pokemon all the time, but if they released Ponyta as a Pokemon in like a modern generation, it would be an instant classic. It would be a fan favorite. Everybody'd be like, oh my God, a fire horse is so cute. That's what I'm saying. Same with you, Cloyster. <laughs> Giovanni's Charisma. Giovanni giving the Riz, Rhydon, the Duder, Shelder, and let's go. The best card in the set, Mew EX, 180 HP. It's got the restart ability, which allows you to fill your hand to three cards once during your turn. Genome Hacking for three colorless energy Allows you to choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Typical Mew right here. It uh, is flexible, can go in anything, and draws cards. It can use any attack. This is a busted card with free retreat as well. It's a great pivot option for any deck, whether it's Maridon, Gardevoir, whatever. This is an awesome card, and I expect Mew EX to see a ton of play. And then no hollow energy again. All right, so we are, what, three for five. I think my dream pull would be the Seeker Rear Blastoise. And that card is just so insane. The Gnat, the Pidge, the extremely excited Poliwhirl. Scyther. I can't do it as good as Natalie. Charmeleon, Parasect, Charmander. Rapid Dash and Raichu, the Hollow Rare, has the Thunder Attack, 180 damage. Pokemon does 50 damage to itself, and when one of your Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, you may move a Lightning Energy from that Pokemon to this Pokemon. Electrical Grounding kind of acts as an experience share that is always present. Very cool, neat little card. And then another non-hollow. All right, we're three for three. Or not three for three. That's the opposite of what I mean. We are three for six on the energy. Write that down. 50% hit rate on the hollow energy. Meowth. Menke. Eggs. Clefairy. Butterfree. Lapdog. Cycling Road. Raticate, The King, and Dragonite, Hollow Rare, with non-hollow energy. Now we're under 50%. Three out of seven. But we've got the new Dragonite, 180 hit points, and the Jet Cruise ability, which gives your Pokemon in play no retreat cost. Pretty good, considering Dragonite's a fatty with a retreat cost of three. It's also got the Dragon Pulse Attack, which does 180 damage for a Lightning and a Water, and you discard the top two cards of your deck. It's a neat little card. The Dragonite from Team Up is so good in Gym Leader Challenge that I don't know that you'll ever play this one, but you could. We found Mew EX and another Holographic Lightning Energy, and now it's time for the Booster Bundle. Easily my favorite product from the 
151 set, the booster bundle has got no frills, just six booster packs and minimal packaging. I love it. Huge props and big thank you to the Pokemon Company International for giving us a low packaging option for purchasing mini sets. I mean, that's just great, right? The booster bundle is exactly what myself and I'm sure a lot of other collectors are looking for from a mini set. Just, you know, I don't need all the extra stuff. I don't need all the all the knickknacks, okay? I've got a house full of knickknacks. I've got a house full of Pokemon cards too. But, you know, I don't need any more knickknacks, okay? Just just give me the cardboard, all right? Just the cardboard. Just straight into my veins. New Haunter. We've got the Kamiya artwork on Gengar. Haunter and Ghastly, love that. Hitmonlee, first War Turtle pull. Absolutely love War Turtle and the uh, entire Blastoise line. Tentacool, Paris, and Venusaur EX regular art to go with our Venusaur EX full art. Now all we need is the Venusaur EX secret art rare, and we have got the trifecta what is that three for eight dang okay maybe i was just getting lucky with the energy pulls there for a second that's what it's looking like squirtle the tongue almanites tauros cadabra this is the first English Kadabra card, like, I don't know, since, uh, like, the e-reader days, something like that? All right, it's been a while. Maybe a little bit later. But it's been a long time, okay? It's been a long time since Kadabra. It's been a million years. And we finally got Kadabra back. Thanks, Yuri Geller. Jolt Doggy Dog. To go with our Flareon. Nice. And a non hollow energy. I think that's three for nine. So we're one and three now, right? I'm getting reports in the Twitch chat that it's been about 20 years since an English Kadabra has been released. So that's big. All right. I got the, the Squirtle Tongue Venonat Pidge. All right. I, I got that pattern already. I see. Alma stars are hollow rare there and the hollow fighting energy. We're back on the board with the hollow energies. That's four for 10, baby. Four for 10. Pretty sure I'm gonna lose counts of how many booster packs we've opened, like guaranteed, but we'll figure it out. I did hear that there's like God packs in Pokemon 151. But it's not the same as like a Japanese God Pack. Uh, I heard it's like you get the whole evolution line or something. They're like demigod packs. Yeah, they're like like Hercules packs. Magnemite and Jigglypuff. And we got the Kamiya Gengar and a non hollow energy. Kamiya Gengar, let's go. All right. Beautiful card. Love it. The hollow dive attack, 110 damage, and place three damage counters on your opponent's benched Pokemon in any way you like. Free retreats. And then Poltergeist, 50 damage times the amount of trainer cards you find there. Love that. Gengar cards are uh, always popular. Turns out Gengar is one of the, you know, most sought after Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG. And then also you're getting Gengar first time ever drawn by Kamiya, who is probably my favorite TCG artist as well, so very cool. Wartartle, Poliwrath, Dugong, Magneton, and I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Wheezing. Let's have a blast. If the Pokemon... If this Pokemon's in the active spot and got knocked out, you flip a coin, and if heads, the attacking Pokemon's knocked out to take that, bro. And then spinning fumes, 50 damage and 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon and non-hollow energy. So what are we like, four for 12 right now? Yeah, that's a, 
Awesome ability. I love that. I think Gengar had that back in the day. Yeah, fainting spell Gengar. And now we got that ability on a Weezing. A stage one. It's pretty cool. All right, we're no hits. Did we get the Venusaur? Maybe we got the Venusaur EX. Dang, the booster bundle looking kind of soft. Need this last pack of the bundle to really pull through. Pidgeotto. Dugong. Hitmonchan seeking Geodude. Meowth. And then Starmie is our holo rare. And holographic metal energy with holy swirly. We've got four swirls. That is four swirls. <laughs> <laughs> my god they're really popping off with the swirls they said you know i heard i heard collectors like the swirls we're gonna give them ultimate fan service here swirls as far as the eye can see swirls for days <laughs> hilarious that rocks now we've got five different holographic energies so far the kamiya gengar and then one product left to go. The Pokemon 151 Elite Trainer Box. Complete with Snorlax design and a player's guide. Cool. Comes with... Uh, actually, this is neat. Okay, so the player's guide is no longer like a, a plastic feel. This is just, it's just paper. And it honestly, it looks a lot nicer. It's not like a, it, it, it's not glossy anymore, okay? It's matte, which is wonderful. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's probably better for the environment. It's more biodegradable. That's great. Uh, probably cheaper to print as well, I have to imagine, but it, it just feels good. It's cheaper, but nicer i would prefer this all day every day snorlax elite trainer box artwork there gotta say this is probably the prettiest elite trainer box i ever did see it's got all the best pokemon on it what's not to love crispy white look to it and of course snorlax fan favorite getting the star treatment there on the front my favorite part of all the elite trainer boxes the dividers you already saw from earlier in the stream that uh, I keep all of my cards in boxes dragon shield magic carpets actually and uh, then I use these dividers to divide them into sections so love the dividers sleeves brick of energy and a Snorlax promo card The Snorlax art rare with Pidgey on its belly. That is super cute. Love that. It looks great. And then all the little details. I mean, this is why it's so nice that artists get, you know, an entire card to illustrate now. You just get so much detail, right? Like the Diglett kind of digging a trail up to the Snorlax, the Pidgey on top. I mean, it's just a really pretty atmosphere, pretty card. Poison burn markers. The dice. The 151 dice are just uh, kind of white and silver. And then the coin flip die is a clear die with the EX logo on it. I do like that they've been doing the coin flip die like that instead of having the set logo. You know, since set logos are no longer a thing, you just get like EX on it. I like that. It looks nice, nice and simple. Clean looking. I like that. Nine booster packs. Shall we? Krabby. Sand Shrew. Seal. Da Dua. Rapidash. Raticate. Dugong. Yo, let's go. We got the Art Rare Squirtle card. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite cards in the sets. I think my absolute favorite artwork in the set is the Wartortle. But 
This line is illustrated by Arita, legendary artist in the Pokemon TCG. Thrilled that we were able to pull the Squirtle. Love that. And Starmie is our rare and non hollow energy card. So much fun. Honestly, the art rares are my favorite cards from the set. I mean, uh, I think I am in the majority by saying I'd rather pull an art rare than an EX any day. I mean, like, the only EXs that I'm really looking for from the set are Mew EX and, like, maybe a Zapdos EX. But other than that, uh, I'd rather pull the art rares all day. They're prettier cards. They look better in the binder. A lot of times they got Pokemon that I am, uh, you know, they got Pokemon that I like more on them than the EX cards. EX Pokemon are too mainstream, you know? Gotta go for the deep cuts on the little guys. Another Dragonite. Another Holographic Lightning Energy. That's two Lightning now. These are some of the best looking English energy cards that they've ever produced. Honestly. Like, they just are. They're, they're up there with, like... They're up there with some of the best looking English Pokemon card energies ever. They're just so nice. They're way better than the textured ones, in my opinion, yeah. Nitto King. Yeah, I think, uh, and in just the quality too, that's the thing is like, the quality feels like it's on point. It feels like it's there. Um, yeah, these are just, they're really slick. They really give an impression. When you have them in your hand, they, uh, they really give an impression when you, when you have them. They're, they're nice. I thought that the Crown Zenith energies looked horrible, honestly. I thought, yeah, they were the end of the yellow border era. They, they just look so bad. I'm really a fan of these. And Mr. Mime. Jinx and a holographic f fighting energy. Check that out. Jinx is here with its heart stopping kiss attack. If your opponent's active Pokemon's asleep, it is knocked out. And then Icy Wind, of course, puts it to sleep. And another holographic fighting energy. Looks great. Dome Fossil. It's weird seeing a trainer card as the first card in the pack. I feel like that's almost something that we never get. And then we got, yo, our first hollow grass and Articuno showing up. First holographic grass energy from the 151 set. No swirls here though, all right? They're not just giving out the swirls for free. This one's a no swirler, no swirl zone. And Articuno, of course, one of the coolest legendaries ever. That's right, but all, all three legendary birds qualify for that. Coolest legendaries ever. Big Air Balloon, Primeape, Fero, Goldeen, Tentacruel, and Charizard EX. Wouldn't be the original 151 without Charizard, and there it is. 330 HP, it's got the explosive Vortex attack, which does 330 damage. This is typical Zard fair. Huge dude, expensive attack, does a lot of damage. The Charizard from Obsidian Flames is like, Interesting, because it's actually kind of good, but most Charizard cards look exactly like this. Uh, just way too expensive of an attack, way too overkill of an attack to want to use consistently. But since there is a competitive Charizard card from Obsidian Flames that accelerates energy into play, I mean, this is a card that you can certainly think about now. Is it necessary in Charizard decks? Probably not, but something worth considering when building your Charizard deck. 
I did say it. I said we were going to pull some fire pulls. Did I not? Called it. Weezing, Gloom, and Staryu. And then our final booster pack of the opening. Weeping Bell, Ghastly, Paris, Voltorb, Muck, Daisy's Help. Yo, what's up, Blue Sister? Venomoth, Parasect, Lickitung, and yo, a Gengar number two, Kamiya Gengar, and a non hollow energy. And that's it for the 151 pulls. We were able to find a Mew EX, Charizard EX, Venusaur EX, Squirtle. So we got some love from all three of the starter evolution lines Charizard, Venusaur, and Squirtle. Two Gengars, Mew EX, and a whole bunch of very cool new hollow energy, which I am just so excited that they are doing. Look how pretty these are. They're insane. They look beautiful. Huge props to TPCI for uh, for giving us something neat, honestly, in our 151 sets that is uh, unique to our print. I, I really really appreciate that. I think we all do since, you know, usually it's like Japan gets all the cool exclusive stuff, but now we got something cool and exclusive. So how fun is that? And huge thanks to Full Grip Games for providing these products for me to show off here on the channel. If you'd like to pre-order products from Pokemon 151, make sure to check out FullGripGames.com. Shopping at FullGripGames.com directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. So, uh, yeah, that's it. You all have a most wonderful day. See ya!